Here's that green 528 E39. Looks nice, except for those wheels are too small. 307 p.m. home. Pretty crappy day. It's like 55 degrees outside. It's just been pissing all day. All day. It woke me up about 3 in the morning. It was raining. It's still raining. But that is early spring here in Ohio, I guess. But my mom's going to be back from picking up uh, my sister from school, which means I want to go over to Polo. I got a thing in the mail. Here it is. 25% off stuff before March 21st. So I'm going to go over. I need a couple new things before I head out west. Uh, I'm going to start packing that suitcase. I know I leave a week from tomorrow morning at 6 o'clock. Um, but in a day, I want to be, or in a week, I want to be 100% ready to go. And that means I've got to pick out everything and have it folded and packed. And hell, I was going to start doing some of this last weekend. And this week has flown by. And I've lost a whole week of planning and whatever. Not like it takes that long. Wow, there's an old Buick. Yeah, in particular, I really need socks. I'm pretty much wearing one of my last good pairs. All the other ones have holes in the toes, which is, well, really quite suckish because walking around on hardwood floors just is very uncomfortable. So socks, maybe a shirt or two, and maybe a bathing suit because I do plan on at least hot tubbing out there a couple times. Um, and the one that I have is very, very, very faded and a little small. So I'll see what I can find. That is a good thing, though. You know, clothing stores always put out clothes about three or four months early. Like, you can go and buy a winter coat, it feels like, at the end of summer. So hopefully I can buy short sleeve polos and bathing suits now at the beginning of spring. Not technically. I mean, technically we have another two weeks until spring starts, March 21st. Um, but it's very springy out there now. Like, next Wednesday is supposed to be 65 and sunny. Yesterday was supposed to be 59 and, and partly cloudy, and it was like 71 and perfectly sunny. So they are very wrong with weather prediction, as usual. I've been watching the weather in California, of course. It looks like it may rain. Um, well, this is all on the 10-day, and stuff on the 10-day really changes as you get closer to the event. But we can see Friday and Saturday out in the 10-day. We fly in on Friday. Um, it's like a 30% chance of a.m. showers and 63 degrees. And then Saturday, I think, was mostly sunny. AM clouds, mostly sunny and uh, a little closer to 70. So I'm just hoping for 65 to 70 and mostly sun. I'll be fine with that. Ironically, that's only about 10 degrees more than we have here on average. Uh, but out there, everything is alive and green and lush and beautiful. We're here. I mean, look, it, everything is dead, dormant. There's no leaves. It's, it's just a pit. No homework. That's good. I only had homework once this week and it took like 15 minutes last night to do. It was no big deal. Tomorrow's Friday. I think we're doing Yacht Club or some version of that. I don't know all who's going. It's very up in the air as usual, and we'll probably find out tomorrow morning. As usual, tomorrow morning, uh, this week as usual, um, I don't have to be until 11.30, so I think I'm going to go over and get breakfast with Kenan and Jack, and who knows who else may tag along. We'll get donuts or go over to Panera's, get, get uh, pastries or something. That'll be nice. I'm looking forward to that. Dressing it up tomorrow, playing a little classy. And then the weekend, Saturday, I don't really have any plans aside from going over to the grandparents' house as usual. I think they're still on that rug binge. They have to go out and find these rugs. Okay. So they found this big-ass store in Canton, which is like 30 minutes south. And it's, it's a bedroom that they never use. They do not need a rug in there, but whatever. So I guess we're going to have to drive all the way down to Canton, which is where I have the car serviced occasionally. You know Jeff's down there? Jeff's motor car is nice stuff. So anyways, we may do that Saturday. Sunday has no plans. Actually, Sunday night does. My dad's birthday is the 14th, which is Wednesday. And um, we're meeting Sunday night for that. And I don't know if I explained yesterday, my dad had a, the BMW X5 in for service at Dave Walter. Oil change, brake fluid flush. And then he's got a noise at like 50 miles an hour. It's like a whirring noise. It drives him nuts. So he figured it was bearings in the wheels. Well, they looked at the bearings. The bearings are fine. It turns out it's tires. He's only got four or five millimeters of good tread left. So he's gonna start shopping for tires. Unfortunately, it's gonna be about $1,500 for four tires on that car. And they charged him 600 yesterday for oil, oil filters, brake fluid, uh, breeding all the, bleeding all the fluid, fluid and putting new fluid in, and uh, air filters. And only about 200 of that was labor. I would show you the car that they loaned him for the day yesterday, but it's not on my phone anymore. I may be updating to iOS 5.1 yesterday. Um, there's only one photo that showed up. He sent me two or three of the car yesterday, and the only one that shows up is the weather he sent me like two weeks ago. 
So I don't know what's going on with that. But anyways, they gave them a 2012 BMW 528i with like 60 miles on it. Um, he liked it. Maybe we'll talk more later. Here's Taylor. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, what's up, Taylor? What? Hello? Ah, AT&T has a wonderful network. Home ended up just getting um, two shirts. I had the 25% off. These were like 125. Um, I got them folded up. I'm just going to throw them in the suitcase now. This is nice. It's a uh, check that out. <laughs> I'm going to pull a prick in that. Pop the collar. Same with that. We've got some green. Um, so those are nice. And I've already got a bunch of crap in here, as you can see. So I guess I'm just going to put those in now. Hey, it's meal time. 6:01 p.m. And for what feels like the 43rd week in a row. We are over here. The temperature is plummeted to 40 degrees, and I'm trying to figure out where the hell Taylor is. We were supposed to meet here at, originally it was 545, and then we did change it to 6, and it's only 601, but he's not aware of that change. And it still says he's all the way over here. He has to come down this road, out here, then get on the highway for a minute. I don't know how he is so slow at getting here. Address unavailable. Gotta love it. Oh, wait, now it thinks he's closer. 480 by the turnpike is over there about a mile and the way yeah there's me the blue dot and there he is and I think Michael is coming too so um, we'll wait for him at least Taylor got on the right road this time instead of going all the way out and almost getting on the turnpike because that would suck again <laughs> there he is the maps find my friends thing is about 45 seconds oh there's his BMW license plate frame check it out but the maps thing on the iPhone is usually 45 seconds to a minute delayed for some reason. Maybe they actually did that on purpose. But he is here, which means residual heat can go off. And wow, he is over on that side of the line a little far, close to the fellow focus. Take three, ooh, with speed. Right back, oh, hey, actually that was pretty perfect. Oh, okay, not bad. G R O T E S Q U E. Hi, Michael. How was your? How were your friends? Oh, uh, they were grotesque. The grotesque. Yeah. G R O S T E S Q U E. Okay. Yeah, Cross you did get it the second time. Cross this. Look at this shirt. Spread it out. See if anybody from the vlog actually gets it. And right. who would wear that in public? I don't know. All right, we're over here working on the focus. Uh, we put in some washer fluid last week that didn't agree with the other stuff that he had in there. Um, so we're in, currently in the process of flushing the entire system with water. Taylor, fill that up all the way. His washer fluid reservoir is apparently like mine. It's one of those unnecessarily big ass washer fluid reservoirs. And uh, there's not much light out here, but we've got a funnel right here. It's in, right up by the firewall on the left side of the engine. And as you can see, the old washer fluid that was in here is all soap. It is literally soapy, and it was sticking to his windshield. So he's spraying this stuff out. It's sticking all over the place. Uh, I'm going to turn on the LED so we can see all the suds on top of the car. Uh, and when we finished off the first tank uh, of stuff that was in there, look what it left. It left suds, like he just washed the car, all over the entire roof of the vehicle. The sides, the windows, the doors, the hood. There is soap everywhere. Taylor, get out of the way. Look, look at the hood. There is soap all over the entire hood. And the wind. <laughs> it's sticky and soapy. Disgusting. So now we're gonna run another gallon of water down the funnel. Two gallons. <laughs> yeah, this will be like the second or third gallon of water. Jesus, Here's what the focus looks like good, in this pig. There's a good image right there. Taylor, did you take off the cover that's on here? Or, there was never any cover. There's no cover. Oh, well, okay, easy access. Okay, running the water through now. Uh, <laughs> it's There's still quite a bit of soap on here. If you can see, I apologize, there's terrible light. Oh, he's splashing me, son of a bitch. But there's still some soap coming out of each jet. His jets do a much better job of covering the water with this stuff than mine do. So there's something Ford did right, except it throws it all over the entire roof of the car. So I guess that's not very good. Inside the car now, it's 719. We're just having a blast. <laughs> we probably put like five gallons of this stuff on your windshield in the past 20 minutes. Probably. Between what was in there. It's not really soap anymore, so this is going to be the last time we do this. 
but I'm gonna leave the camera on and I'll cut to it. You can hear when the pump goes dry and when there's not any more to pump out. It sounds ridiculous. Oh, <laughs> that is the most ridiculous sound. And they're still pissing a little bit. Oh, it's getting a lot of suds up. buy new washer fluid. So there's the bottle, now full of water, and Taylor's going to pitch it in the air. <laughs> Taylor, I would have laughed a lot harder if it went over your head and came back and landed on your car. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's not morning yet. Six more minutes. It's 11.54. I am sitting here with um, some candy and some, some fruit juice. Because that's what I do, talking to Bobby, arguing with Kenan about transmissions, and otherwise having a good time. Uh, so I want to get this together before it is Friday. Tomorrow's going to be an awesome day. Looking forward to that. Um, so that's it. I don't think I had anything important to say. Had a good night. Um, Taylor came over. You know, we did dinner and stuff. So I will talk to you tomorrow morning on Friday. Good night, guys.